Right then, first thing we're going to do is get this skeleton so that it works uh, in the way that we want. So we're just going to create an IK handle in between these three joints here. They're the ones that we want to be controlled by being able to move. So in order to do that, all you've got to do is go back into your skeleton control and select the IK handle tool. Give that a click and then we'll start at the neck and we'll click down to here. So it's the one that we first put in at the bottom of the, uh, the arm. And at that point, if you've got it right, your skeleton will go purple and you get a, a line here. And then you get a little sort of two lines. That's your um, IK effector or IK handle. So you can drag that by just dragging over it and selecting it. Um, and then if you put your move tool on, you'll see that that's now moving all of the rig. Obviously the lamp doesn't go with it yet because we've not told it to. But that means that that um, IK chain's working. Wonderful. So now all we've got to do is parent the different parts um, of the lamp to the different parts of the skeleton. Uh, I mean, as always, um, parenting has to be done in the right order, otherwise you'll cock it up. And in this case, you'll know it's cocked up because your bones, which are represented by these little triangular things, will disappear because you've parented in the wrong order. So you always have to select the mesh first, then shift select the skeleton that applies to it, and then press P. Like that. So I'm just going to work my way up my model, selecting first the mesh, and then shift selecting the skeleton. Okay, do it for this one as well. And P, and then finally select the head and that bit of skeleton there, P. So that's now all parented up, which should mean that if you now select that IK handle again and move it, yes! Look at that. He's ready to animate. It's like some kind of head banging mosher. Go on, Jeff. Right, fantastic. If, like me, you can't resist playing with it, um, Sounds a little bit wrong, doesn't it? If, like me, you can't resist moving parts of your rig, um, just make sure you undo it when you're done. Press Z, um, just to put it back to how it should be. Okay, so at this stage, you've got um, a clean rig of your lamp. It's a good idea to save that. So I'm going to do that. File, save scene as. I'm just going to call it clean rig. Uh, and the reason you save a clean rig is because they can be ridiculously temperamental. So if... Um, you start animating and it goes crazy even if you undo it you might never be able to get your rig back to how it started so it's always a good idea to be able to go back um, to before you ever started working with it as we are able to do here right so this bit's now ready um, we'll leave this video here and in the next one what we're going to do is start creating um, the jump animation so I will see you in the next video for that